Great food, great sights, and great natural surroundings. Granada, Spain has it all. So today we want to share with you some of our favorite things to do in Granada. If there's only one thing that you do when you come to Granada, it needs to be the Alhambra. So make sure that you go and do that. Make sure you go and see it. Buy your tickets in advance, as far in advance as you can so you get the time that you want. And just go and enjoy. It's absolutely beautiful. The architecture is stunning and the gardens. Take it all in. It is an absolute must and a total treat. recommend and this is kind of a one-two punch is going to the Granada Cathedral and the Royal Chapel which is attached to it. Now the Granada Cathedral is one of the biggest cathedrals in all of Spain so if you love going into cathedrals you got to put this one on your list. For five euros you go in you get an audio guide so you get a great history of the cathedral and you get to stand in that space which is absolutely incredible. In terms of the Royal Chapel it's also five euros and here's the cool thing you get to go see where Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand are buried, or at least where their sarcophagus is. There's even a space where you can walk down some steps and peer through a little window, and you can see the lead coffins where their bodies are, which is kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy, and it's super cool to be able to see that. Super cool, person. yeah. There's also another part of the Royal Chapel experience, which is in the sacristy portion of the chapel structure. And that's kind of a little museum area. There is some personal belongings that were Queen Isabella's. It's, it's really worth the five euros to get in. And it, like you said, it's a, it's a quick visit. So it's not something that's going to take up a ton of your day. Another thing you need to make sure you check out if you're in town is exploring the Albizine area. Oh yeah. Yes. The Albaizin is a neighborhood, but it's kind of more than a neighborhood. It is definitely an experience. It's the Moorish Quarter, so there's a whole different culture that exists there. The architecture is different. Everything is kind of whitewashed. There's these small, narrow alleys. It's a wonderful place to explore, get some different food, check out some smaller squares. Do yourself a favor and go there. Which way? This way? This way? It's hard to know. Menzi's looking it up for us. What'd you find? Sometimes Google Maps isn't enough. Okay, so you nature types who love to go hiking and biking and swimming and all that sort of stuff, we totally recommend hiking the Sierra Nevada, which is the mountain range that surrounds this area. So you're going to see great vistas, uh, you get to go across the suspension bridge, at least where we went. Uh, we saw a waterfall, there's a rushing river there. Um, it was just spectacular from start to finish. So we did ours through an Airbnb experience. If you get a chance to do something like that, we highly recommend it. Yes, for sure. Granada, you have to explore and enjoy the food culture. Yes. You will have a couple of different ways to do that here and we recommend doing them both. The first is to check out the tapas culture. Here in Granada, the bar owners pride themselves on still offering a free tapa with a beverage. So you get a little dish with one of your drinks. You should definitely do that. It is an awesome way to have a quick little pick-me-up in the afternoon yeah. or in the early evening. Mm -hmm. If you want to do sort of a tapas crawl, it's a great way to have dinner and you get to try a bunch of different um, local favorite foods. And the second way to enjoy the food culture in Granada is to try some Moroccan cuisine. Yes. So that is something we were really excited about. Mm. We had some wonderful dishes, Moroccan dishes while we were here. Totally different flavors, totally different style of eating and both of them are equally amazing. You have to do both. And the tea. Mm. The tea at the Moroccan restaurants will blow your mind. It is the best tea you will ever have in your life. Yeah, super hot, super Seriously. sweet. Life changer. So good. Elixir of the gods.
Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope our recommendations help you on your trip to Granada. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. See you soon. See you soon. Yay. Gracias.